Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and I'm just going to do a quick video on how to disassemble a uh, Thompson stick magazine. Now these are 30 round stick mags, and uh, they came with that uh, that Volunteer Enterprises Commando Mark 45 that I got, and uh, this I'm pretty sure is the original magazine that came with that. Um, that came with that rifle. You see here it has this little V on the bottom of it, which I can only assume stands for Volunteer Enterprises, because uh, none of the other magazines have that. Also, it says US it says US 30 cartridge caliber 45 along the front of it, um, which three other magazines say as well. So that kind of makes me wonder if they were like um, old military magazines for their old Thompson M1A ones. Um, also, this appears to be the roughest looking magazine. It's got a lot of wear uh, here. You know, just it seems to be very well used. Um, it has a broken piece right here. There's supposed to be a piece right here. Um, right there that uh, is supposed to stop the bolt on uh, a real Thompson. Uh, it, it's not supposed to stop the bolt on the the commando, but it's supposed to be there and it appears to be have been broken off. And also there's something different with the follower that I'm going to show you. But anyway, let's take it apart. Now, uh, you see this little hole right here. Uh, it's big enough to put a small screwdriver in it, so, uh, and a lot of times the tab is not, um, is like, you know, pushed down in there, so you, you have to pull it up like this, and then you're going to have to pull it out, which uh, is not always the easiest thing to do. Also, another thing to note about this magazine is that uh, when I loaded it up to, come on, all right, there we go. When I loaded it up to um, take it shooting, uh, this is supposed to hold 30 rounds. Now, I got in 28, and I couldn't get the 29th round to go in, and I, I kind of forced it in there. But after I did that, the follower got stuck in the bottom, and uh, you know it wouldn't push it up. So you don't have the spring tension pushing them up, but pushing the bullets up. So I had to dump all the bullets out, and um, I had to take it apart. I had to figure out how to take it apart first, um, and it took me over an hour just to take this magazine apart and uh, clean it and all that and put it back together. Mostly because all that spring tension on the the bottom of the magazine uh, makes it really hard to take apart. Now, another thing you might want is a nice big screwdriver, flathead, to get in here, get on the inside part of the spring, and just push the base plate out making sure that you are holding on to the spring so that the spring doesn't fly out. Trying to deal with the spring is always fun. Okay. So now you have your base plate off. And it looks like that. And then you have your spring. And this is where it gets kind of interesting for this 
particular magazine, which I think is the reason why the magazine doesn't hold 30 rounds. And it's because this follower is bent like this. I don't know if it's really supposed to be like that because it's not like that on any of the other magazines. And if you just pull this spring and follower out, the follower on this magazine is straight in the front and in the back. But the follower on this magazine is bent in the front. And I suppose that's just so that it holds on to the spring better. But that uh, affects... It's really hard to get the spring in here, first of all. Um, that was part of the whole hour ordeal that it took me to get this magazine put back together. And uh, when I put it in there, it's all... The spring still isn't straight in there, and I don't understand why they did it this way, or maybe if it's just bent from use or whatever, but, um, you know, it just really affects how this magazine works and how you take this magazine apart and put it back together. And uh, I'm going to have to mess with that some more. Uh, I'm not going to put that magazine together right now. I'm going to put this magazine together. Just take your follower, make sure that the piece that's sticking out is in the back, push it in there, put your spring down in there, and then take your base plate, make sure that you put it on uh, the right way. Just put it down here. And now just push the um, plate in. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot, I used a uh, hammer to do it. Let me go grab that real quick. Now if you're gonna do this, I suggest not using a steel hammer. I suggest a, um, a rubber mallet of some sort, uh, but I don't have one. And uh, really the only reason I say that is because of uh, trying to preserve the bluing. Uh, but this one will work. And you just tap it in. And uh, yeah, it really doesn't cause any damage, but I still suggest a rubber mallet um, might have to hit it one more time or so. And just make sure that it's all the way forward. But anyway, that's how you, um, take it apart and put it back together. This magazine here, uh, is a piece of crap, really. Now, it functioned just fine when shooting it, um, other than not having, being able to hold, tw uh, 30 rounds. It only holds 28 without messing up, but this follower just really messes it up. And uh, if you saw in my, my shooting video with this, it actually held the bolt open on the last shot, which it's not supposed to. Um, it's just supposed to close, and for some reason it, it caught the bolt like halfway through. And see, look at that. It just popped right out. Um, it stopped the bolt like halfway through closing and stopped like right here, uh, which is why I looked really confused in that video as to why the bolt stayed open. But anyway, this is the magazine that I'm going to give away with that gun when I sell it, uh, just because it sucks. Uh, and it's the original magazine, so that's another reason. But anyway, that's how you take apart a Thompson 30, 20, uh, even 10 round stick magazine. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. Anyway, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.